Hello my YouTube friends. Um, uh, guess where I am? I'm on a Lexus dealer with my really, really old Lexus. And look at all these new Lexuses behind me. Isn't it awesome? Well, today I'm going to show you uh, what's it like to buy a car from a dealership without getting heckled, okay? Well, let me talk about uh, buying a car in North America. You know, my uh, nephew, he's, he's only like 20, and uh, he's been looking around to buy a car. And uh, his dad's gonna pay a, like a down payment and stuff like that, and then he'll get a job and uh, pay it off, right? So I, it sounds pretty good to me. And um, he's been looking around uh, through many dealerships and still can't find uh, the perfect uh, car for himself because the, the other car he got uh, wasn't to his liking because uh, his folks really liked him like that car so he said okay get that car I got a BMW or something like that a brand new one well he he's a young kid I don't think he likes those uh, it's an X1 so he didn't like it uh, he wanted to get something uh, that he likes but the deal is uh, the price and I feel there's kind of a I don't know do you call it a discrimination or something like that but I, I just uh, said okay uh, when you do go look at a car again do you bring me along okay and um, so he called me up uh, I picked him up and uh, went to a dealership and because he you know kids I don't know you know everybody nowadays they look at the uh, inventory and say oh I got this uh, car that I really like it's got all, all the options and the price is blah 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 like that you know okay so he we drove down like drove for an hour and a half to that dealership because on the internet it had that car there right but the deal is they didn't have when we arrived they had him sit down okay and say oh well here's the thing he showed it, his phone look this is the car we wanted or he wanted and that wasn't the case and there was no car so what was going on man and after he showed him you know he showed the dealer like oh this is the car i really like but the sad thing was uh how, how can i say it like can i have your id uh i have to go through a, a credit check can you sign the papers i mean he hasn't even like chosen what particular model he's even made even he hasn't even made a test drive he didn't do anything and they had him do a credit check sign the papers and all that and uh, I mean what do you guys think you know he, he the poor guy you know um, and I what I know of if you get lots of credit checks uh, it's not good for you because uh, your credit score goes down when you get a credit check and the thing is they weren't selling him they didn't even have the stock or whatever to sell him there was no car that his liking was there and they just had him sit down and blah 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 so agent I came to the rescue <laughs> that was uh, the story and I feel really bad for him because as a kid you know you get all excited when your folks says well I'm gonna like partially pay for your car and isn't that a really awesome deal but every dealer he goes to they'll just uh, disappoint him I mean discriminate in a way because like you're just a kid do you have money uh, well before you talk to us uh, we need a credit check I mean that's I don't know well so we're getting a Rubicon, a used Rubicon, and the uh, Toyota lot dealer has one. Well, uh, so I request to get, a, of course, the Carfax and all that. You, you check the record, the history and everything, and make sure it's all right. And uh, so usually I just talk to the general manager and I say, I want this car, blah, blah, blah. And I usually don't, it might be silly for you guys to hear but I usually don't test drive the car or don't anything I just said I'll just num give them the numbers are you gonna do it if you do it I'm just gonna get it <laughs> so so but today I'm just gonna get it so now I said let me see the car after that so if I said I'm gonna get it I must get it because agent I means what he says right so here it is the 
It's a Rubicon, 10th uh, anniversary. And he wants a 36, 36 nine plus tax, plus, you know, whatever. Yeah, over my dead body. Well, <laughs> and this is actually, it's different because it's got a special bumper, it's got vents on the hood, it's got a special wheel packages, got the sliders, rock sliders, and it comes uh, with the hot, hard and soft top too. And I think this comes down, doesn't it? You guys, Jeep fans here? And you cut out a lot of uh, BS. So you get to get straight to the numbers and figures and make sure everything is right. <laughs> so he, the guy got me the key now and might as well take a look at the interior. Okay, isn't this an awesome uh, Jeep? Good for kids, you know, they, they love it. So am I gonna drive it off today? Let's take a look. Oh, red leather seats, fancy fancy. So I guess this is uh, part of the 10th anniversary uh, model here. And it's all leather, really fancy. I haven't seen a Jeep with leather seats. I mean, when I was in college, I had a Sierra, Wrangler Sierra, and it was nowhere as uh, fancy. There's, I guess it's got a premium sound system too. And these uh, come comes off in there. Let me get in, it's pretty hot. Okay. Here it is, a good view, AC in Celsius, guys. So you guys might have to do a little bit of calculation. And it has the 10th anniversary. And I don't, do you think this thing will start up? It's been sitting here for so long. Still starts up, pretty good. Engine sounds like an engine. And it's got the Uconnect, Sirius XM, and all the good stuff. And one thing good about the Rubicon, it has the sway bar disconnect. So you can uh, disconnect the sway bars when you go off-road and you can get maximum traction, which is awesome. And I believe this has uh, lockers too. So somewhere here, it has lockers, has power outlet, heated seats, because uh, it's, Wow, well, we got lots of options here, so it's pretty awesome. You can see the temperature is cold, so they didn't really turn on the engine before I came. Come here, so it's pretty good. Yeah, it sounds okay, the engine. There's a cap here, pretty fancy. I think that's a... Oh, it's a metal one, it's pretty, pretty awesome. And it has all this uh, fancy stuff. Red tow hooks. And it has a hitch too. I mean, that's 200 bucks right there because I need to get a hitch for my uh, Lexus. So this is pretty much everything uh, that uh, my nephew is looking for. Well, okay, let's get it off the lot. Well, I'm at the general manager's office here and he's in charge of all the sales can you see all these cars here and he's an awesome guy and it's such an honor for me to meet him he's and he's hard working uh, getting the numbers straight and uh, I'm gonna put a deposit on my credit card and uh, we can get it going and get it off the lot every time I'll, I'm sure I'll get a pretty good deal <laughs> So you saw the price there, and uh, I think the price went pretty low. It's uh, almost at cost, because what they do is they give me a really good price, so they're hoping that I'll introduce more people to come and buy. And I mean, I'm not benefiting anything from this. I'm not getting any kickback or anything. I don't need the kickback or anything, but at least give me an excuse to make a video for you guys to watch, right? Isn't that awesome? If you come down to uh, the dealer here in uh, Vancouver, do you look for the top man here in charge and this is Hello. Andy Andy is the manager general manager and he takes care of everything absolutely yeah and uh, he's he's a really fair guy and uh, the prices are really fair compared to other dealers in uh, in BC so I highly recommend looking for Jim if not leave me a, a message or something I'll talk to him and make sure you get the best deal well I've signed all the paperwork and uh, we're gonna pay for it 
and be a happy person. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So no, no, no history of any damages. Right. So it's all good there. Always mm -hmm. a North Vancouver car, mm -hmm. BC car, no claims. So you are good to go. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. good to be, you know, he shows me all the documents just to make sure every car I get from the dealer right here is, it's a good deal and everything's honest and it's just, you know, straight out from the facts. There's no, no BS. That's, that's what I like, you know. Well, it's a financial time and uh, we are going to the finance manager to work out the figures, right? So, uh, it's Chester. And uh, Chester is going to help me out today, and hopefully we'll get everything organized, the financing and everything, the deposit, and uh, get this uh, car out of the lot. And then we'll make arrangements. Yeah, so uh, all the deal is done, and uh, I just paid, uh, here, a credit card for a deposit, and uh, everything was good, right? Everything is good. You thought my credit wasn't good for for just a little, no, I a just few said, hundred, you know, but... I just said I, I just said I'd stand back in case the, the credit card explodes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, H and I has, has everybody covered, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, well, here I am. The car is all detailed and waxed up, ready to go. So, look at it. Isn't that awesome? So everything's uh, sorted. And uh, Andy is here, make sure everything's cool. Full edition G. Okay, so there's only three of these in all of BC. Okay, um, so it's almost like having a one of a kind, one of a kind, especially in Vancouver. Yeah. Okay, so you won't find another one. You won't run into a bunch of people and say, "Oh, you've got the same car." This is unique. Okay, this has the hard top and the soft top with it, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, pretty good. That's great. Yeah. Thanks to uh, the general manager of here uh, in Toyota. So you guys, if you guys need something, look for the general manager, Andy, and he, he'll be more than happy to help you out. And he's really honest and I'm so, you know, we've been buying cars from, from the dealer, from this dealer for years, and I had no issues whatsoever. So they're awesome. Even service, you know, they're really reasonable. Some people might think they go, they go out and get an oil change, yeah. but actually it's cheaper here. It's the same. Yeah, and they, and they use all the original parts instead of the OEM ones, you know, and that really makes a difference. Okay guys, uh, we're on the road, uh, the car is all insured and we are having a little road trip for a couple hours and see how's everything handling and uh, everybody's happy and he's really anxious to uh, test everything out now. I mean, you usually, uh, we usually test drive after you buy the car, isn't that funny? I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for watching and uh, be careful about the dealers, you know, sometimes they, they can be really tricky. But uh, I, I, I hope you've enjoyed it. So uh, relax, enjoy, like, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. What do you think? What do you think? It's awesome. Awesome. Wow.